Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi October 2, 1869 January 30, 1948, was the preeminent leader of the Indian nationalism in British-ruled India. Employing non-violent civil disobedience, Gandhi led India to independence and inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. The honorific Mahatma, Sanskrit, Heisold, Venerable, applied to him first in 1914 in South Africa is now used worldwide. He is also called Papu, Gujarati, endearment for father, Papa in India. In common parlance in India he is often called Gandhiji. He is unofficially called the father of the nation. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born on October 2, 1869 to a Hindu Maad Baniya family in Porbandar, also known as Sadamapuri, a coastal town on the Kadiawar Peninsula and then part of the small princely state of Porbandar in the Kadiawar Agency of the Indian Empire. His father, Karamchand Udham Chand Gandhi, 1822-1885, served as the Diwan, chief minister, of Porbandar state as the best educated of his brothers, Gandhi was seen by his family as the best candidate to one day succeed his father and his uncle Tulsidas as Diwan. Mavji Dave, a Brahmin priest and family friend, advised Gandhi and his family that he should qualify as a barrister in London, after which he would be certain to achieve the Diwanship. Gandhi focused his attention on Indians while in South Africa and opposed the idea that Indians should be treated at the same level as native Africans while in South Africa. Gandhi stayed out of active politics and, as such, the limelight for most of the 1920s. He focused instead on resolving the wedge between the Swaraj Party and the Indian National Congress, and expanding initiatives against untouchability, alcoholism, ignorance, and poverty. Gandhi initially favoured offering non-violent moral support to the British effort when World War II broke out in 1939, but the congressional leaders were offended by the unilateral inclusion of India in the war without consultation of the people's representatives. India, with its rapid economic modernization and urbanization, has rejected Gandhi's economics but accepted much of his politics and continues to revere his memory. Reporter Jim Yardley notes that, modern India is hardly a Gandhian nation, if it ever was one. His vision of a village-dominated economy was shunted aside during his lifetime as rural romanticism, and his call for a national ethos of personal austerity and non-violence has proved antithetical to the goals of an aspiring economic and military power. By contrast Gandhi is given full credit for India's political identity as a tolerant, secular democracy.